Hello everybody, this is my new top 10 invention. So first of all, let's get started with number one, artificial intelligence. So the way of the future will be through the use of artificial intelligence to solve the problems we cannot solve given our current intelligence. That's pretty cool. Uh, secondly, I believe that the second greatest invention of all time is the merging of computers in the human body and we will see more of this to come. Uh, so this is basically, you know, compensating for uh, human adequacies with the things that computers are good at, such as like remembering large amounts of information and being able to access it extremely quickly. So if you combine the two, who knows what will happen. If that uh, Our entire potential as a society will drastically increase. Uh, third, I put the printing press. So the advent of the Gutenberg printing press allowed for widespread literacy, leading to the world we know today where everybody can read and everyone has access to information. Uh, my fourth top ten invention is vaccination. So without vaccination, many of the people we love today would not be here. Uh, this allowed for an increase in the birth rate uh, or the average survival rate of like children, contributing to the extremely large population we have as humankind right now, which it would not even be close to. Uh, fifth invention is the telephone. Without this, we'd be unable to communicate large distances, and communication is extremely essential for a productive and technologically advanced society. Uh, six, sliced bread. Uh, it may seem tempting to undercut how how convenient, how convenient our lives have become and this is embodied most in sliced bread which makes our lives so leisurely and is uh, really a, an amazing invention since everybody buys it. Uh, the subway. So the subway is extremely great because it allows for fast communication without the dependence on a car and also cuts away from traffic above ground and is also uh, independent of the weather. So it's unrelated to the weather. No matter if it's raining or hailstorm or lightning, it's good to go on the subway. Maybe not lightning, I'm not sure, but raining. Yes. Uh, the wheel. Without the wheel, we wouldn't have the uh, rapid transportation we have today. And our society, you know, we couldn't move large goods. We couldn't do any of these things. So the wheel is extremely critical to all, everything, pretty much, we hold dear in society. Uh, number nine, the advent of sustainable farming. So sustainable farming marked the uh, transition from, like, a hunting-gatherer society to one that, you know, could produce enough food so everybody wouldn't have to be a farmer, which allowed for more professions to develop you know, such as scientists or architects or, you know, stuff like that. So other people could do other jobs without everybody having to look for berries. Uh, number 10, last but not least, is the computer. So basically the computer is responsible for everything that we see today, my being able to communicate with you, and will has contributed to even people who don't even have access to it. So it's improved their quality of life substantially as well. Thank you. These are my top 10s. I'm running a bit out of time.